guys, it's me Tazzy and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video, like you can tell, I'm on Pottermore and I'm going to be discovering my Hogwarts house, my Uber Morning house, find out my Patronus and get my wand. And I'm super excited. I did this as a kid, like, you know when you're a kid and you just get on Pottermore and you're just like, I want to be in Gryffindor. So you try your hardest and you make, your, make sure you get in Gryffindor. Um, I'm not going to do this this time. It's going to be straight from who I am and we're going to discover who we are. So I'm in my Hogwarts sort of Harry Potter shirt. It's got Snape and it says after all this time and always and love it. And we're going to dive straight on in. So I've just got my Hogwarts letter. What am I going to do? I am going to go down to Diagon Alley and get my wand. So that's where we're going to start, guys. So I've got the face cam on this. I've never done face cam before, but we're gonna, you know, have a go and hopefully enjoy this. Um, yeah, I've never done face face cam before, so it's a bit different. So I'm not gonna bother reading the story. I've read Harry Potter 50 billion times, so no offense, Mr. Ollivander. John Hurt oh, plays Ollivander in the movie. So sad that he died. Um, so let's start the one ceremony. Take your time and answer honestly. Let's go, guys. To ensure we find the perfect one for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, <laughs> first of all, would you describe yourself as average height? Tall, short, average height. I'm tall. I'm extremely tall. I'm 6'2". Um, so, <laughs> we're going to go with that one. And my eyes, brown, hazel, blue, blue-gray, blue-green, green, gray, other dark brown and black. Got dark brownish. Ish, sort of. Is it? Uh, it's a brown. Was the day on which you were born an even number? An odd number. An even mourner. Mourner. Uh, <laughs> I was born on the 2nd of October, guys. Do you most proud your s most. I am sucking with words today. Do you most pride yourself on kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination? Intelligence, originality. Okay, we're back to the start. I reckon it's got to be between imagination and resilience. Um, let's go. I don't know. Imagination or resilience? Let's go resilience. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea? Head towards the forest or right towards the castle. We've got to go right towards the castle. I mean, I'm a big fan of medieval stuff, so we've definitely got to go to the castle. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, heights? Fire. I've got to say fire. It's it's really bad considering I live at country. There's this fire. There's a fire like risk, but yeah, I had used to have terrible like dreams of getting caught in fires and burning alive and that sort of stuff. So definitely fires. In a chest of magical artifacts, what would you choose? Ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, glittery jewel, black, black glove. Um, I reckon the dagger. That makes me sound really cynical. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This is funny. Okay, I must. <laughs> So I've taken this test before, like, years ago, like I said, but I got this exact same one. So, <laughs> so I've got a pine wood with dragon heart string core, 13 inch inches and rigid flexibility. So more about my wand. Pine, straight gain, pine wand also chooses an independent individual master who may be perceived as a loner, intriguing and perhaps mysterious. Pine wands enjoy being used creatively and unlike others will adapt. Okay, dragon. Yeah, yeah. I might read this in my own time because this might take a while otherwise. But yeah, so that that's my my wand. Nice. Now let's let's go. Um so I've officially got on my wand. I better go run our way on the train and we're at Hogwarts and it's time to figure out what house we're in. So let's dive in. Not going to read the story again. Uh, begin the experience. Moon or stars? Hmm. Stars. Moon, there's just one. Stars are many. Oh. In our world, there's only one moon. Other world, there's plenty. 
If you could you if you could have any power, which would you choose? Power to read minds, the power of invisibility, the power of superhuman strength, the power to speak to animals, the power to change the past, the power to change your appearance at will. I gotta say superhuman strength sounds pretty good. It, not only would it be awesome, it would also enable me to like pass all the fitness testings I need. Like I've gotta do like if I join the Defense Force you need like fifteen push ups and that sort of stuff, so it'd, it'd be nice. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, selfish. I gotta say, I really hate it when people say ignorant. Like, I try not to be, but it, it's a bit like, eh. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, natter jack toad, dragon toad, harlequin toad, three toad, tree toad, oh! <sighs> Okay, so it's got a bit different to it. I reckon owls are so useful, but cats are also useful. I don't know. It'd either be a tabby cat or... Is there a white owl? Or is it just snowy? Corny. Brown owl. I kind of want to go to Snowy Owl or Tabby Cat. Can I have both? That'd be fun. Because the cat will sleep with me at night and then the owl can deliver my food. Hmm. The, the difficult decisions in life, guys. Let's go. Snowy Owl. Which would you rather be? Invide? Okay, I don't know what that is, so let's just quickly Google it. Invide, desire to have quality, a quality possession or other desirable thing belonging to, desire for oneself. Okay, feared, liked, praised, trusted, imitated. Trusted. I think trust, trusting is a very important thing to have and to make sure my friends trust me and my family trust me, I think that's a big thing. Which road tempts you most? The wide sunny grassy lane, the narrow dark land in the valley, the twisty leaf strewn path through the woods, the cobbled street, ancient ruins. Ooh. I kind of like, mmm. I gotta say, that'd be pretty fun. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try and open? A small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside with some small creature seem seems to be squeaking. The gleaming jet black box with the silver lock and key with the mark of Merlin. The ornate golden cast casket standing on clawed feet with whose inception. Yeah, no, that's not me. The small pewter box unassuming and playing with scratching I open for yep it's gotta be me heads or tails 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 definitely oh <laughs> that's so ironic okay okay apparently I am a Gryffindor that's cool huh I don't know I don't know if I'm happy with that if that makes any sense I don't know, because yeah, I've been, I've done this sorting four times, and the first time I got Gryffindor, but that was just because I was actually playing it the way that I thought would get me to Gryffindor. The second time was Slytherin, the third time was Ravenclaw, and now I've gotten Gryffindor again. So I guess it's confirmed. I'm a Gryffindor, guys. I've, this is this is kind of good because um my dad got me a Gryffindor shirt when I was overseas when he went overseas like last week. So I actually have a Gryffindor shirt. This is perfect. I love it. So I think we're going to finish this up. This has gone a bit longer than I anticipated it was going to, so we'll split it into two parts, and I'll find out my Patronus and my Ilvermorny house in the next 
episode, and that'll come out next Wednesday. So make sure if you did like it, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what your house is. I'm very curious indeed. My name's Tazzy, and I'm signing out. Peace.